down to the Democrats, a new poll showing Hillary Clinton neck and neck with Bernie Sanders ahead of Tuesday's California primary. But her focus is on Donald Trump, now saying he's unfit for the White House. ABC's Cecilia Vega has the latest, joins us from Los Angeles this morning. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to you. This was 33 minutes of Donald Trump bashing. Hillary Clinton said her Republican rival could send the country into nuclear war because of his thin skin, and that was just the beginning. Hillary Clinton's newest attack on Donald Trump, attack, attack, and attack again. We cannot put the security of our children and grandchildren in Donald Trump's hands. What Surrounded by flags and teleprompters for a speech on national security, Clinton using some choice words to describe her GOP rival. Incoherent, bizarre, thin-skinned, and quick to anger. Lashes out. She called Trump dangerous. Do we want his finger anywhere near the button? No. She basically called him unhinged. He is temperamentally unfit to hold an office that requires knowledge, stability, and immense responsibility. Clinton may be taunting Trump, but she is still locked in a primary fight and hoping to avoid a California upset, making four stops in the Golden State yesterday alone. Bernie Sanders still drawing the crowds. No! and protests too. Secret Service agents rushing to his side as animal rights activists rush the stage. But Sanders got right back down to business. We will win and a very large turnout will win big. And Sanders had some sharp criticisms, criticism for Hillary Clinton over that foreign policy speech, saying that we cannot forget that she voted for the war in Iraq, what he calls one of the worst foreign policy decisions in modern American history. George, she is, though, receiving a lot of praise this morning, especially from supporters who wanted to see her take a tougher stand against Donald Trump. And, George, they certainly got that with this big speech yesterday. They did George. get that. Cecilia, thanks very much.